Hi there, and welcome back. This is uh, Don and Greg, and we like to call this adventure uh, Greg and Don's Excellent Adventure. I'm Don Gertz. I'm in. Uh, I'm a, I've been in real estate for 30 years, 30 plus years, and this is my friend Greg DeMarco. He's been in sales for 30 plus years, sold many different things. Why don't you just kind of introduce yourself, Greg, because it's been a while since we talked, although anybody watching these videos is probably going to maybe not watching them in sequence anyway and won't know that we've taken a break over the summer. But uh, maybe <laughs> yeah. just maybe just introduce yourself anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problems. We're we're in our second season, Don. That's what it is. First oh. episode, second season. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Greg DeMarco here and uh, welcome to everybody who's listening. Yeah, I I uh I basically help you know what it comes down to? I help baby boomers and Gen Xers um sort of get lifted in their life and and find out uh how to run and operate and start their own businesses. So that's kind of where my my uh sweet spot lives and uh, I've had about 40 years experience in you know sales, sales and business development. I've sold yachts, I've sold boats. Uh credit reports, collections. I've sold vacuum cleaners. I've sold a lot of stuff. Did you so say you, did you say you sold elections? <laughs> I sold I sold collections. Oh, collections. I, I credit it's, credit reports and oh, collections. I'm thinking, uh, okay, how do you sell an election? Anyway, that's yeah. another topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another topic. We won't go. But there. I've I've done a lot of sales and uh yeah, so that's where the bulk of my experience lies, and uh, I help. Uh, I basically help people get to the next stage of their life. So that's where it stands. Yeah, thanks, Greg. I I I mentioned that I've been been in real estate for thirty plus years and uh, transitioning into helping new realtors uh, find their way. You know, because uh, you kind of get into uh, you're deciding to go into a new business and there's a new change. So we kind of are, are along similar paths, just uh, different different client end user client maybe but yep. uh one of the things that we come across quite often is is what we is uh quite often called the imposter syndrome have you ever mm -hmm. heard of that greg <laughs> oh yeah yeah i've heard of it I, a lot of my clients you know it's funny you're we've sort of picked this topic for today because a lot of my clients over the last oof, i'd say a few weeks i've dealt with a lot of this with with them and i've experienced it myself I'm not going to lie. It's it's something that plagues us at certain times of our life. So yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. The imposter syndrome. So uh, for those that might not be familiar with the term, the, the imposter syndrome is basically we we're doing something, and uh, we hear this voice in our head, and it's and it says something like, "Well, what makes you think you can do that? You know, why 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 do you think you why do you think you're good enough for that? Why do you think someone would want to listen to you?" Or in my in my business in real estate, somebody might might listening to, well, I'm I'm brand new in real estate. Why would somebody want to list their house with me? I don't have any experience. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have or, this. Or I've got lucky. I just got lucky when I sold that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? That's the other thing is, yeah. is you think okay, well, that wasn't anything that I did. It was just I got lucky. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so how do how do you, how do you uh, initiate that conversation or uh, you know on helping people through that? What's what's one of the steps that you would take? Well, I think listen, I think it's a it's not an easy topic of discussion with some people because it 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 really uh, affects their emotional stability with some because they're stuck, right? But I think the biggest problem if we identify what what some of the biggest problem is problems are with it it's it's a total disconnect from the idea that you have anything a value to offer and you actually believe it and the herein lies the problem um when people are you have to understand the sign and the signs are what we just talked about two minutes ago is you know I've, i got lucky i you know i don't know you know i don't know what i'm talking about people think i'm a fraud or whatever and it's not what anybody else is thinking it's what you're thinking about yourself and that's where it, here lies the problem with it is you get into the dumps about this and how I, I effectively am able to get people talking about it so we can get through it is getting them to write down a list of accomplishments that they've had in their life, getting them off the negative thoughts of, you know, I'm just an imposter because there's no way I, I have anything of offer, to offer. 
is to make them understand, well, what have you done all your life? What are those successes and those achievements? You know, and write them down. Even if they're small, everybody has achievements and successes that they have. And once you start thinking about those achievements and the actual fact that, yeah, I, I kind of do know what I'm talking about in this specific area, then that starts to break up into pieces the the idea or notion that I don't have anything of, of, of value to offer. So and you got to understand, you're not alone. There's a lot. Of, I've been through it. I'm sure you've been through it once or twice in your life. And, um, you know, you have to understand that, you know, there's other things, too. Some people are perfectionists. They think everything has to be perfect, perfect, you know. Yeah, one of one of the things that I've learned is, is I, I I've studied personalities. I don't know. I, I'm kind of a geek or a nerd that way, but I like <laughs> and 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 that's one of the, and one of the reasons is because I I believe that that in in many in many times I've I suffer from the imposter syndrome because I uh, I I don't necessarily we don't, I I think that in real estate. I've looked at other realtors that are very, very successful. I look at them and I say, "Well, that's I, I'm not I'm not like that, you know. Like, how, how am I going to be successful if if I'm not like that person and I can't be like that person? And I I forget that I have my own gifts and I have my own strengths that I bring to the table, and uh, we 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 kind of play that comparison game too, and then we think that we're the imposter. But um, I was going to say that that I I I know that there's uh, I use a, a uh, an assessment, uh, the CRG uh, leader uh, personal profile or uh, personal style indicator. And then for salespeople, I use the sales style indicator. And what it does is it shows that certain personality styles actually tend more towards the, the imposter syndrome. And I think it's important that a person, when they're when they're looking at where they're going, is that they is that they uh, uh, evaluate where they are at. And uh, and not and then you know go through that process that you were talking about. I think that's extremely valuable. You know where they look and say, "Hey, look, look at this. Is these are all the things that I've done. These are all the things that I'm able to do." But also to get some some, um, I guess, verification, if you if you will, if that's a good word, uh, by by taking some assessments. You know, there's different assessments that you can do, and and they're they're quite you know remarkably they're accurate. Uh, you know, you can do the like the the two that I I just did. Uh, you know, mentioned the CRG leader ones, or you can do the DISC assessments, or you can do the Myers Briggs assessments, or any of those types of assessments. And and I think they're they're valuable for you. Uh, and they're not they're not overly expensive. Or you know, you can contact either Greg or I, and we'll 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 be happy to help you go through that. But um, so but I, that's I, I agree with you, Don. It, it track and measure what your successes are is a huge part of it. And taking those assessments, I think you're you're bang on with because <laughs> it allows you to see and measure something, and and actually figure out what your motivations are, what your personality is, what your skills are. What I what I find uh, interesting, really interesting about them, and I, and I find remarkable is that we tend to forget how how remarkable each one of us is as an individual, mm -hmm. and that that when you take the when you take them, some some of the different assessments, they'll say, okay, well, you're you're one in six million, right, or six billion. Like there there is no, uh, and I think the Gallup Strength Finders uh, does that. They 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 actually say, okay, there's no like basically, you are so unique that there is no one else that has or you're extremely unlikely to find anybody else that's going to have your strengths, your makeup, and 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 do things the way that you do them. And that's what your superpower is. Your superpower is that you are who you are. And when you discover who you are, then you can live in your strengths and you can live in what you do and you don't, and you can, and with confidence, you can move forward in life knowing that you're, that you're bringing value to the table because of who you are. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way you said that. And I, and I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of things that happen to to us in our life, in our jobs, careers, whatever it is, and we've got enough pressures from from all areas. And I think that is one that, yes, it's it's a debilitating um, syndrome, I guess, but it's it's solvable. It's there's a solution to it, and um, you know, you need to be able to talk to somebody 
who's been through it and who can help you navigate it. And that's, that's really what it is in the end, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's it's not. I, I like. I'm glad you brought that up about you know different things happen to different people because that's the other thing is is that you don't want to take one of these assessments and then say, oh, okay, I'm this, and put that label on yourself because it's not to label you. It's to give you insight into who you are so that you can grow and you can make decisions. You can take uh, set up a plan. You know, a, a step by step plan because we have had. All of us have had different circumstances that have impacted us. All of us have had different people in our lives that have impacted us. All of us have yeah. seen different things that have all impacted us. So it's, you know, so your personality style is just one part of your overarching personality. And uh, and it's it's the part that you, you would naturally um, revert to. Uh, it's it's your style that you revert to when you're under stress. But there's so many other things that 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 have that have impacted you in your life, and uh, you have to know that to overcome the imposter syndrome isn't something that's going to happen just like that. You know, it's going to yeah. take time, and it's going to take you. And and like you say, it's it's a, it's advisable to have somebody that you're talking to, because otherwise you're you're gonna you're gonna cycle back into it. It's well, very and easy, that's very easy to do. And that's <laughs> and exactly it. And uh, I still go through it from time to time. But here's here's the difference. When I started understanding what it was, it took me a long time to to navigate through that until I got some help with it. But now, if I if my mind starts to flip that way, at least I I know automatically what's happening, and I can start to switch gears myself. You know, once I start to see it, and I start looking at what my skill sets are and what my successes really are. And that's what helps me get through it. So it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting topic, uh, especially now since I've been talking to so many people over the last few weeks about it. But um, there are there, that's the important thing is is you you, you seek seek somebody who knows how to help you navigate through that, get the support you need, and uh, lots of salespeople go through it. So, what would you say we got? We got three steps to take. So number one. Do an inventory level of uh, inventory of what it is that you do well, what it is yep. that you know how to do, what you write it down, doing. write it down, write it down. Yeah. Number, number two, take an assessment. Yep, definitely take an assessment assessment and get help from somebody who can yeah. help you navigate, who understands what it's like to go through it. So those those three steps. Yeah, yeah, it Anything, helps. Yeah, it helps. Well, I want to thank you, Greg, for your insight into the imposter syndrome. I know you've been a big help to me, and I'm sure you're a big help to your your clients. And uh, uh, if you have any, if anybody has any other questions, you can either contact Greg at his contact information, which is down below there, or I'd be happy to help you as well. So thanks again for uh, connecting with us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Don.